to I mean, go into a kind of a partnership with type of lion. So we are doing this exercise uh, for him to see the, the quality of uh, the players that we have so that he can report back to his people out there. Are you back to support your team as you were doing some years back? Yes, sir. I am back fully. Uh, I did not leave the team. Uh, it looked like uh, uh, I shift my attention a little bit to boxing, as all of you knew. But I have come back fully, fully now. Tell us a few details of this uh, one-week program. What, is the, uh, what, what does it entail, the full program of this program? Well, uh, you know, uh, at the end of every uh, season, uh, we do put some players on transfer and look for new ones to beef up the team. So this one week, we are using the week to test some of the new players that we are going to use for the uh, season and also for our new coach, uh, Safo Castro, uh, to assess the new ones, if really he can work with them. So uh, this is, I mean, some of the reasons why we are doing this uh, program. Okay. So far, what have you seen in consultation with the technicals? What have you seen? Are you impressed when you're seeing new boys coming in, all fitting out? What have you seen so far? Yes, very much impressed. Very, very, very much impressed. Uh, because uh, looking at uh, some of the new talents that we've brought to give up the team, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> in fact, there are a lot of talents among them, young ones, uh, which can be, I mean, fit into some of uh, our junior national team. So, I mean, there is I mean, a lot of talent uh, uh, among them. Now, how many players are you targeting for the season? And then, are you in contention for the Premier League title or top four? No, I don't, we are not uh, uh, contesting for the Premier League title. You know, uh, in the history of uh, Heart of Lions, you know, we are always, I mean, uh, fourth, uh, on the table, uh, right from the start when we came into the Premiership. The last season was a very bad season for us. So this time we are not contesting for the Premier League title, but to play well, produce uh, players into the national teams, on, and also send young ones out there to abroad. So we are not contesting for the Premier League title at all. But we just want to play well, remain in the league, and also produce good players in the junior national teams. Um, looking at the new Premier League clubs who have just entered into the Premier League, of Amidas, ITU was then a Premier League club, and then um, the other one, Kim Baiza. Do you, does Heart of Lions feel any threats of their post this season? Not at all. Not only these three teams. No, not, not only the three teams. Uh, honestly, uh, I, I, I could see that it's going to be uh, a different game altogether for Heart of Lion this season because of the new players we brought in, as I said earlier on, to beef up the team. Uh, we are going to, I mean, I believe, I have so much confidence in the new and old players and also our new coach that uh, we are going to surprise a lot of people this season. Heart of Lions has been one man show. Um, you had some few challenges last year when you shifted yourself a little bit. Um, does any of your former team players support you in any way? Uh, well, uh, some of them a little bit, but when we talk about, uh, I mean, some of the players we produce, I think they are not really helping uh, this club. I can only talk for myself, I don't know about other clubs, but for Heart of Lions, I mean, it is only few of them who remember this club, that this is where they were transformed from, but not, I mean, much of them, it's only few of them. And also, you make mention of, uh, I mean, uh, 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 some of the problems the team faces last season. Uh, it was not a finance problem, but I just decided to shift my attention from football, but it is not about finance. Does it mean boxing too is over for you? No. Boxing is a part of the program. Uh, the club is no more Heart of Lion uh, FC, but is Heart of Lion Supporting Club. Uh, sporting Club, sorry. Yeah, it is no more Heart of Lion FC. As we all know, across across of who cannot there, so it's now Heart of Lion Sporting Club. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay.
What do you want to achieve here in Ghana? What do you want to achieve? Uh, well, I would like to, uh, to, uh, to introduce myself to start here. My name is Kosi Freeman Nyeji, and I was invited by the chairman of uh, Hearts of Lion, who told me many great things about Ghana football players. And I would like to thank him and Mr. Dixon for here. And my goal of, in Ghana is to discover talents in Ghana uh, and try to make them know out of Ghana. Why Ghana? Why Ghana? Because for me, I think Ghana football is one of the most structured. I don't know if it's a word. Because I'm yeah, structured. Uh, we know uh, many good Ghana French championships like John Boy, uh, uh, Ayoub, and I'm, I would like to promote Ghana championship because many many person like the chairman of Hearts of Lions are doing a great job with their staff and for me it's, it's very interesting to try to promote them out of Ghana with all contacts I have in, in, in France or over France. Um, you, you've been here for a week yeah. or you stay here for a week. Yeah. Um, what talent are you targeting? How many players do you hope to get before you, you leave? And have you seen any talent as you've been here for, for the past three days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was very impressed. Uh, for first, because when I came, I, you don't, I don't have uh, idea of what I can say. But the first training I saw with part of Lion impressed me. I saw many disciplined players, uh, to, uh, intelligence training, not 11 against, uh, against or out of France. Most of clubs think in Africa they are not stru structured, so I was impressed. But I saw talent, but how many? I don't know. I saw good things. So. For the moment, I'm just watching. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kochi. Kochi. Yeah, I'm surprised by seeing you. I'm also going to go to the full time. I'm going to go to the full time. I thought, I thought uh, it is uh, the right time for me to you know, change uh, my position. Uh, that's why I choose out of my loss. What motivated you to move into other planets? Uh, being a head coach, I think uh, it's not. Target for the league? Uh, the target is to be among the top four. From what you're seeing, do you think you achieved that? From what you're seeing on the field now? I don't have any problem. Um, I think Heart of Lion is a very great team. I mean, it has been here for probably 10 years, and I've seen lots of stuff that they've done. Well, for me, I'm very, very proud that my dad is the owner of the team. And I can say, well, if I grow up, I would like to be like him. So, yes, I think the team is a very great team. It's a very big team. Do you have the zero to do football in Ghana? It's a little bit hectic. It's it's very, very tricky. Yes. It's a tricky job in Ghana. Um, yeah, it's hectic, but well, I've seen what my dad has been going through every single day. And I think if I have the chance to do that, why not? I would like to also own a football team. Okay, so you want to encourage more young guys like yourself to take the football, probably forget about banking, finances, probably the legal law and go to football and why? No, not necessarily um, leave banking and other areas, but then yeah. It's, it's a cool idea that you also try to go into football. If that's your area, if that's your field, why not? Thank you. Thank you too. This uh, platform, this moment. Uh, I think uh, everybody knows the history of uh, Heart of Lions. Uh, we came into the Premier uh, League now for about 10 years. Uh, for the previous years, we've been doing very well. Side. We always uh, make sure we finish amount the first uh, four teams. But 
last season was a very bad season, as we were all aware. But whenever it happened that way in football, I think you need to go back to the drawing board, realize your mistakes, and make sure you put things in the right direction. So uh, that is what we are doing now. Uh, we have started this exercise for about one and a half months now, just to be ready before uh, the league start, so that what we went through last season will not repeat itself again. So I think uh, we are getting ready for the league. Other competitors in the league, like Accra has to fall, quote unquote, the league champions, Kung Chelsea and other things, have picked their, their team by bringing in new players, signing on, just going through some trials and other things. What are we hearing from Bandwagon of Lions? Are there new players on board? Are you aiming to bring in new before the league really starts? What is really happening in your camp that you can let Ghanaians know? Yeah, that's, that's quite true. You know, at the end of every season, uh, every club have to, I mean, assess the team, look at the which side, the players that cannot be fit into the team, put them on transfer, bring in new ones that are, I mean, better than those ones. You, you cannot, I mean, transfer a player or you cannot put a player on transfer and bring in those ones who are not up to their standard. So we have done all those things, and as you said, Heart of Lions is one club, I mean, uh, in the past, when we are going to play a big club like Heart of, uh, Heart of Hook and Asante Kotoko, you all know what happened. So it's the same thing we are going to repeat this season. There is nothing like Kotoko to Heart of Lions, there is nothing like Heart of Hook, there is nothing like uh, Liberty, Ash Gold and others. We go to the field and play our normal game and make sure at the end of the game we have our three points. That's all. So now for now tell Ghanaians, where do you really want to end the first season? 2012, 2013 this season, when it starts, when do you want to end Well, the uh, we want to play well uh, to I mean maintain our normal position among the first top four. Uh, we are not targeting a league title. Uh, that has not been I mean, our plan, we just want to play well to remain in the Premiership and I believe uh, with the help of uh, the new coach which we have brought in, uh, we also put something to Ghanaian. So, I believe we will be among the top four. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Now, oh, if I'm saying Ghana Premier League because you've been with Kotoko before, now, Bandu Hearts of Lions, now tell me, what's the feeling like you now being the, the boss? Directing the pace, calling the shots. What's really the feeling like before we even start for this? Very good. Very, very good. Now the season just is about to start. Every every club in the Premier League is really preparing seriously to really put up a show. Now you on board, a new coach coming on. What's really the plan you have for this season and for Pandora of Life? We are, we are still on course, and I think we are also on pace. Try to you know, uh, see some of the guys how they can fit into the team. So we are also preparing seriously, and I think that we are determined also to be uh, among the top four. You, you, you saw the likes of Kotoko when he went there. You saw the type of players they were having, then the quality over there. You coming to Heart of Lions? Are you, have you seen any of such quality? Are you bringing in some new tactics that will bring out a new Heart of Lions? We are going to see that Heart of Lions start when they meet Kotoko and Akras of Okeji, something else. No, Heart of Lions is another club that produces and I think uh, two of them have come to Kotoko. Uh, you know, we have more and more in the team. Uh, I think uh, I don't have any problem because we have more and more players to Coaches always come under pressure when, when they come to new teams, when we move